All right, so the seats in this car are the Sparco QRTRs. Basically what they've done, is they've brought down their more expensive technology uh, to where you get the lightness of the more expensive seats from previous years, but they brought it down in price a little bit, so it's a little bit more affordable. It's kind of a hate it to love it situation for me. If I'm just gonna be totally honest, I will say that like I wasn't totally stoked at first to put these in. Uh, only because, I keep going back to this because it's a Type R, but the thing is the Type R is so good and the details are so well thought out. The factory seat is really good in the Type R, so we were like, oh man, what, you know, like would I put these in my CRX? Absolutely. My Fiesta? Absolutely. The 911? Hell yes. But the Type R, especially since we were driving across the country, like the first time we drove to California, we were like, ah, oh, these seats are great. These seats, we kept commenting on it. And then we put these in and went to drive it to Michigan. It was like, oh no, these are gonna be miserable. I'm just leaving the gas station right now. Just gotta go across the street to the post office. Man, get suited up. You put all these on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Do you man. really? <laughs> yeah. But I will say, and I couldn't have said this without the track experience, like when you're in this car and you are on track and you're harnessed in and you're in the seat, it didn't even register. And that's the thing, like I never moved around, I never thought about the seat, and that's what a good seat and harnesses should do, right? It wasn't until we were like well back driving from Michigan that, you know, me and Mike were in the car and he was like, you know, I gotta say I never moved around in this car. And I was like, dude, I never did either, now that we think about it, you know, like, it, 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 the thing is it's and it, and it ended up being really pretty comfortable on the road too on the streets once you're in you're in you don't feel like you have to fidget or anything like that you're really kind of tucked in here and then like the cherry on top was the next weekend i went to a track event at road atlanta i was not driving uh but i rode with corin tyson in the uh jst uh type r the blue one and she has a seat in the driver's side, but she has a factory seat on the passenger side. So I was riding with her with the three-point harnesses, and dude, I was, you know, I was having a light hold and brace everywhere. And it wasn't till that moment that I was like, yeah, I mean, like, I really get it. Like, it, you don't realize how good the seats are until the absence of them. You know what I mean? Um, and there is no doubt in my mind that we went faster and you will go faster with you know a good set of seats and harnesses in the car um absolutely it, it's it just takes that whole element of having to brace and fight yourself out of the equation and it gives me a really wicked set of type r seats that i can put in my crx so again sparco qrtr uh, i don't want to say entry level because that kind of like takes a little bit away from them they're not entry level but what they are is pretty reasonably priced seat that you know, it, it's a cool time because they were able to take some of the technology that used to be more expensive and bring it down to the other seats. Some of that stuff is getting maybe a little bit more affordable and Sparco is cool enough to pass that down to us. FIA approved, it's everything you need to get out on track. <laughs>